The biggest machines in the world also require the biggest engines in the world. Right now, we're going to introduce you to engines that you wouldn't even dream could be this large. Welcome to the Wonder Machine. 14R T-Flex 96C is a two-stroke diesel engine that holds the title of the world's largest engine and is primarily used to power large container ships. It is a behemoth of an engine measuring 87 feet long, 40 for feet tall, and weighing over 2,500 tons. Its 14 cylinders have a bore of 38 inches and a stroke of 49 inches. This massive engine produces an astounding 80.08 megawatts of power, enough to power a small city. Additionally, the engine is turbocharged using exhaust gases to drive turbines that compress intake air, further increasing power and efficiency. The Rocketdyne F-1 was a cryogenic liquid-fueled rocket engine developed by Rocketdyne for the first stage of the Saturn V rocket. It was the most powerful production rocket engine ever built, producing 1.57 per million pounds of thrust at sea level. The F-1 was used in all 13 Saturn V launches from 1967 to 1973 helping to send astronauts to the moon and establish the United States as the world's leading space power. The F-1 was a LOX RP-1 engine, meaning that it burned liquid oxygen and kerosene as propellants. The engine was regeneratively cooled. The LOX was used to cool the combustion chamber and nozzle before being injected into the combustion chamber. This allowed the engine to operate at very high temperatures without melting. Mingyang Smart Energy, a Chinese wind turbine manufacturer, has unveiled the MISE 16.0 to 242, the world's largest wind turbine with a nameplate capacity of 16 megawatts. It has a massive rotor diameter of 794 feet, which is about the length of three football fields. The turbine also has a hub height of 469 feet, which helps it to avoid turbulence from the ground. It is expected to generate 80 gigawatt hours of electricity per year, enough to power 20,000 homes. The turbine is designed for offshore use and is expected to be a game changer for the wind energy industry. The GE9X is a high bypass turbofan engine developed by GE Aviation specifically for the Boeing 777X. It is the world's most powerful commercial jet engine, producing up to 105,000 pounds of thrust and is also the most fuel efficient with a 10% improvement over the previous generation of engines. The GE9X is a two-shaft turbofan engine, meaning that it has to concentric shafts that rotate at different speeds. The core shaft, which is located in the center of the engine, is connected to the high-pressure compressor, the combustion chamber, and the high-pressure turbine. The fan shaft, which is located around the core shaft, is connected to the low-pressure compressor and the fan. The GE9X is so quiet that you can have a conversation standing next to a running engine. Big Boy for 1014 is a steam locomotive that is considered to be one of the most iconic machines in American history. It was one of the largest and most powerful steam locomotives ever built. The locomotive is 130 to feet long and weighs 1 point to million pounds, so it was capable of pulling trains weighing up to 3,800 tons. With four cylinders each measuring 68 inches in diameter and driving wheels standing at 63 inch. 
capable of producing a staggering 6,000 horsepower and exerting a tractive effort of 112,500 pounds force, it could haul immense freight trains weighing up to 3,800 tons with ease. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. The CAT C175 to 20A CERT is one of the most powerful diesel engines on the market today. The CAT C175 to 20A CERT stands out for its ability to deliver up to 5,360 for horsepower at 1,800 revolutions per minute, with a peak torque of 6,830 pound foot at 1,500 RPM. This makes it easy for this engine to conquer applications that demand the highest power and torque such as mining, heavy-duty trucking, and marine vessels. A CERT fuel system improves fuel combustion efficiency, reduces emissions and noise, and extends engine life. Missile crawler transporter facilities are a pair of massive tracked vehicles designed and built by the Bechtel Corporation for NASA to transport spacecraft from the vehicle assembly building to the launch pad at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. They are the largest land vehicles ever built, each weighing 2,489 tons and measuring 131 feet long, 114 feet wide, and 22 feet tall. Each crawler transporter is powered by two diesel generators that produce a total of 6,600 horsepower. The crawler transporters can carry a maximum payload of 12 million pounds. They were originally designed to carry the Saturn V rocket, the most powerful rocket ever built at the time. If you're in the market for a crane that can lift the heaviest loads in the world, look no further than the Liebherr LR13000. This colossal machine is the most powerful crawler crane in existence with a maximum lifting capacity of an astounding 3,000 tons. That's enough to lift 15 Boeing 747 jumbo jets simultaneously. With its maximum boom system in place, it can reach a height of 774 feet that's taller than the Statue of Liberty. To put it in perspective, if the LR13000 were standing in New York City, its boom would extend over the top of the Empire State Building. It plays a crucial role in the construction of wind turbines, lifting massive components to heights that would be impractical for other cranes. Big Muskie was a dragline excavator that was once the world's largest earth-moving machine. The machine weighed 12,250 tons and was nearly 22 stories tall. Its bucket had a capacity of 220 cubic yards, which is enough to hold to Greyhound buses. Big Muskie was used to strip mine for coal and it could remove up to 8,000 cubic yards of overburden per hour. The machine was powered by 10,625 horsepower electric motors and required 13,800 volts of electricity to operate. Big Muskie was so large that it took 250 rail cars and 260 trucks to transport all of its components to the mine site. It took 200,000 man hours to assemble the machine. Big Muskie was retired in 1991 due to rising electricity costs and environmental concerns. The machine was dismantled in 1999 and its parts were sold for scrap. Thanks for watching the video till the end.
also free to be able to like, share, and subscribe our channel to update the latest video. Thank you, and see you in the next video. Goodbye.